Now we're going to take a look at the corner post, the lower screen, uh, be the first screen at the bottom. You've got a couple icons down at the bottom. You've got a stop warning, you've got a warning sign, and you've got an information sign. If either one of any of these lights come on, that means there's an issue with the combine. If it's an information light, that means you probably have exceeded a service hour, or it might be time to, like, say, change the oil, or uh, it may say, hey, your unloading auger's out. But this is more just an information thing. The next one is a little bit more severe than that. It means that something on the machine needs attention. It doesn't have to be done absolutely immediately, but it needs to be looked at as soon as it's convenient. If you get a stop warning, that means something critically wrong is wrong with the machine. Uh, it might be uh, engine gear case pressure, engine oil pressure, uh, coolant over temp. Uh, if you get the stop warning, you need to shut the engine off immediately. Now we're going to look at the lower corner post screen itself. We've got several buttons and several lines on the screen to look at. Uh, in the upper left hand corner will be your fuel gauge and the more bars the more fuel you have in the machine. On the right hand side, the upper right hand corner is your coolant temperature. Uh, most generally that's probably going to run with three to four bars. Uh, right now it's two. We just started the engine not long ago so it's still running at two. But when you're working the engine it's probably going to be between three to four bars. The first line will always be miles per hour and that's not changeable. The second and third line you could configure to your taste. We've got an up and down arrow and when I press that button that moves this arrow to a different line. So right now I'm going to highlight the second line and in that line currently is engine RPMs and maybe I want cylinder speed right there. I've got cylinder speed, I've got concave clearance, I've got fan speed, I've got my header speed and I also have engine speed. So I'm going to set that one to cylinder speed now, if I want to change the bottom line, I press the arrow button to move the arrow down to the bottom line, and then I'm going to select engine RPMs down there. And that's how we adjust our first corner post screen. Now we're going to take a look at our second screen on our corner post. This is our loss monitor. This is where we're going to see what the, what the combine is leaving out, going out the back. The left side is my cleaning shoe. The right hand side is my separator or my rotor. The center is my composite loss or the two kind of merged together. At the very top is my tailings and the tailings is just telling you how full your tailings is and it's not really telling you if it's grain and it's not really telling you if it's trash it's just telling you how much stuff is in your tailings. Now the way we calibrate that is we harvest in the field we just go out into the field and we get the combine set to where we're happy with the combine's performance. Let's say we're going to pick corn at four miles an hour and we're, we need to go into the field and we need to pick corn at four miles an hour and we need to get the combine set to our specifications. Once we do that, we need to continue harvesting at four miles an hour and then reach up here and hit this cow button right here. What that will do is that will bring this center bar to the center of the center section on the screen. And then if that bar goes up, that means it's losing more than what we said was okay. If it's down, it's losing less. And that's gonna be our second screen in our corner post. Now we're going to take a look at the third or the top corner post on the corner post display. Um, on the screen we've got icons and then we have buttons down below. Uh, the number up in the top right hand corner is going to be your hydroflex pressure and if I turn my dial on my armrest that will adjust my hydroflex pressure up. I'm turning it clockwise. If I turn it down that will decrease it and that's going to be for a hydroflex platform. Uh, the number two signifies the button that I've pressed on the armrest or on the uh, hydro handle, the one, two, or three button on the hydro handle. This button is my is my header sensing. So when I have a platform or a corn head with header height sensing on it, I want this one. The two arrows to the side signify that it's active. This is my header height resume and will be associated with my number one button on my hydro handle and I want that on anytime I have a header connected to the machine. The bottom one is my contour master and you can also see that it has arrow signifying that it's active and what it's doing is just telling you what how if you have if you have the how what the position of the contour master is and it will also work automatically. I'm adjusting it manually right now. The little smiley face arrows, I can turn those on or I can turn those off with this button right here, but you want to make sure those on if you have a header height sensing and contour master on your, on your combine. This button 
is also goes or this icon goes with this button in the bottom right hand corner and that is for if you have automatic if you have deck plates with uh, with electronic sensor or if you have real fore and aft with an electronic sensor what that allows you to do is set a point associated with the one two or three button like we talked about we've got and that will set your real fore and aft for you it will return it to wherever you had it set if, same thing for the corn head on the deck plates. If you press number two and you have the deck plate set in a number four setting, it will set the deck plates at a number four setting every time you push that button. This button right here is not used except for in a locked up wheat position. Uh, so for cutting soybeans or picking corn, we do not use this button right here. That's going to take care of our top corner post.